three stages of a porn brain reboot. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me tell you what the three stages are and most importantly, how to get from stage one to stage three as efficiently as possible. In this video, what we're going to talk about is in fact, those three stages. And then your brain tip at the end of the video is going to be how to get from stage one to stage two how to get from stage two to stage three and stay there for lasting success. Okay, so let's start with stage one of a porn brain reboot. Stage one is you don't know that porn is a problem for you. So you may not have known before you met me, you may have not known that porn is a problem at all for anybody, never mind you individually. So the first stage is kind of one of ignorance. And I know that word might be a big word, but when you are happily going along and you think that you have, uh, you know, a stress reliever in porn and that really it's good for you because it helps you to ward off boredom when you're feeling bored and it helps you to relax when you're feeling stressed. You think it's good for you in stage one or you think it's really not that big of a deal. And honestly, back in the day, I was at stage one where I'm like, you know what? I could take it or leave it. If somebody asked me about porn, I wouldn't even look up for my desk. I didn't care at all because I'm like, you know, no big deal. To each their own and whatever gets people through the day, you know, fine. But then what happened for me is I was impacted personally. So I quickly went from stage one to two to three on behalf of as many people that I can get my hands and brain on. So when you go from stage one to stage two, what happens is you now know the, that not only is porn not beneficial, it's actually harmful. Stage two is that you understand that porn is not good for you and that you want out at some level. And stage two can be a really long one for people. It exists on a massive continuum from you have this inkling that it's not serving you and you kind of sort of are entertaining the idea of stopping versus you get all the way to the other end of the continuum where you're like, you know, enough is enough, especially if you've developed erectile dysfunction or if your partner has discovered that you have a consistent and frequent and intense pornography habit or addiction and it's created uh, you know a lot of problems in your relationship in your life then you might be down on this end of the continuum like yeah this is absolutely not serving me and I need to kick it to the curb so stage two exists on a continuum and you can stay in that stage for a long time but it is a really important step going from one to two so in these videos obviously it's really important to me to teach you all about the harmful effects of pornography for you so that you can go from stage one to stage two. I'm gonna remind you about them real quickly here. The science shows that when you keep going back to the screen, you've coupled your brain to being the fourth wall participant in an unhealthy sexual activity that's fake, it's not real, but it is giving your brain this massive dopamine dump or release. And I can see it in people's brain graphs. And I share that with them every day that after a PMO session, your brain is artificially regulated. So before you watch pornography, your brain's up here. It's stressed out. It's bored and overwhelmed and fatigued. And it needs something to relax and to be stimulated. And that's what porn does. Porn artificially brings this down. It does not bump up that calm focus in the middle, but it'll take the edge off for you. That's the A effect. The B effect is that then a day later or a couple hours later, this mode is off the charts up here and you have more cortisol in the system and lower dopamine levels. What that does to you is it gives you the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde of your mood. Sometimes you're in a great mood. Sometimes you're in a bad mood. It will depend on what neurochemical is driving the bus in your system. It will 
create anxiety and depression on those after effects and those lows in your cycle. It will make it so that you react to things in your world. You can't respond intentionally. The creativity and the intentionality is sucked out of your life because this speed in the middle, the perfect optimal brain processing speed is down here in the tank and it's being dominated by these speeds in the extremes. And we know that it strains relationships, it desensitizes the reward center in your brain, it fries it out. And what that means is your work is no longer pleasurable or giving you happiness. You can't get the rewards from life anymore because you fried out the system so much that you need intensity of a fake experience to possibly even feel pleasure, which is why you don't want to hang out with your friends anymore. They can't give you that intensity. That's why you don't want to be with your partner anymore. That intensity cannot be gotten there. But I need you to know and to remember intensity is one dimensional and it is not what life is about. It's exactly what addictive sex is about, but it is not what life is about. Life is multi-dimensional. It is about multi-sensory experience and dopamine and serotonin. So we wanna uncouple your brain from the screen so we can balance the neurochemicals, get you back on purpose in your life and start moving you towards getting dopamine from work, getting dopamine from your relationships and getting dopamine from your hobbies so you love your life and you don't need to escape into this super normal stimulus that not only is frying out the reward center in your brain, it is creating underactivity in your frontal lobe, hypofrontality, dropping out your prefrontal cortex so it no longer works. So not only do you need massive amounts of stimulation in the midbrain, in the reward center, you also can't think and you can't make good decisions, you can't make judgments, you can't use executive function to plan and organize and to get that project at work going that you wanted to back in the day and to have it thrive so you can get dopamine and serotonin. We're going to do that for you by going from stage one to stage two. In stage two, you might be willy-nilly and you might be up and down, you might watch my videos, Sometimes you might not watch them. I would encourage you to subscribe to these videos if you're getting value out of them. Um, I've just started to dip into the analytics on YouTube and I see that most people who watch my videos are not subscribers. A big step that you can take to go from stage two to stage three is to subscribe to these videos because they are designed to teach you and to bring you from stage one to stage two to stage three. Stage two, you might find yourself relapsing, or I love when people say that they're going to commit to this journey. And especially in the comments, you know, I'm committing to this, I'm gonna do this on day one. That is a stage two statement, because if you haven't changed anything and you haven't decided what new parts of your routine you're going to add when you take out the old parts of your routine that were filled with pornography or masturbation, you don't have a strong plan, which stage three is commitment to this. As a new lifestyle, it is commitment to a life of dignity and integrity so you can look yourself in the eye in the mirror. It's not even about other people. That is the ripple effect. That is the benefits that will come out of you growing your power from within, reclaiming your power, reclaiming your intentionality and what you want to do with your life, regardless of what anybody else thinks. And I know in some videos I've thought about this where I say, I don't care what other people think. That's not true. Of course I care about other people, but I'm not attached to what other people think about what I am doing. I am on purpose. You can imagine what some people think of my passion project. I'm on purpose. I know that this is hugely important to me and I am here for this work because I care. And if you don't like that, that's okay with me because I'm not attached to how you feel about what I'm doing. That's where I want you to get. So you can create this life of dignity and integrity where every day you, w you wake up and you know that you're about to rock out the day that you want to have. And I know you can get there, but you need a plan. 
So you need a porn brain reboot plan, which is why I've created the program for you and why I make these videos for you. This is the program. Of course, it's put together so you can just flow through it in the program that you can purchase. But here, if you stay with me and you subscribe, you're going to get huge value. You're going to get the strategies. If you start implementing them, you're going to stay in stage three, which is commitment, discipline, and resilience. You need those three things to be able to stay in stage three for the long run, to be able to leave a pornography and masturbation habit behind, leave addictive sex thoughts and techniques and that includes, you know, acting out behaviors. In my new program, there's a giant list of acting out behaviors that come from sexually addictive thoughts and patterns in your life. When you break those, you become the person that you want to, living in dignity and staying in integrity. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. You stay in stage three. Okay, so here's your brain tip. How do you get from stage one to two to three seamlessly? You keep learning you stay with me here and if you're not jamming or vibing with me i promise to stop say vibing if you're not with me on this message please find someone that you resonate with so that you can keep learning from them and they have to provide you actual strategies and techniques when it comes to a pornography habit it is integrated it is all entwined and enmeshed it is the past the present and lack of the future that keeps you going back to pornography to escape what has been created what is still going on and what isn't existent so you need a comprehensive plan stay with someone who can teach you the strategies to be able to address all aspects of that when you do you'll go from one to two you'll care once you know you're damaging your brain you're shrinking it you're creating underactivity you're frying out the reward center. You may not be able to have healthy, enjoyable sex as you age. You might not be able to think as you age. Once you know that, there's literally no going back. So you stay in stage two because you know of the dangers and the damage. Stage two might fluctuate on that continuum from, you know, I care about this a little. I care about that this a lot. You want to move yourself along the continuum towards caring about it enough that you can commit Get disciplined, and it's not about willpower. Willpower is different than discipline. Discipline is having tools and techniques and strategies and being able to use them consistently. Discipline. Willpower is, I decide on a Tuesday I'm never watching porn again. Tuesday night, I'm jonesing to watch porn, and I have to try to stay away. Willpower doesn't work. Discipline works. Commitment, discipline, and then that adds to resilience. And we know people who develop resilience in their life those are strong people who are on purpose and rocking out their best life. That's what you do in stage two, through the techniques and strategies that I'm providing for you. When you're ready, you come into stage three and you join a program or you stay with me. I'm gonna have YouTube Lives starting soon. You stay with me and you get all the tools and techniques and strategies so that you can build upon them and create the success for yourself and then stay in it. That is how you succeed. So don't make a bold proclamation that you're starting today unless you change something. You can do it by yourself with the tools I've given you here. Change something so you can stay in the third stage of your porn brain reboot. Okay, I hope that helps you out. Go from stage one to two to three. Stay there for the long run and you will rock out your best life. If you would like help on that journey, please go over to drtrishley.com and you'll see there that I have created a program at three different levels so that hopefully it serves most of the people who I am working with at different price points. And of course they have different levels of engagement. So how much time energy you need to put into both of them to serve your needs or to all three of them to serve your needs. Go over there, check it out. And hopefully there's a program that's right for you and Remember, control your brain or it'll control you.